let's have a look now at how we do polynomial division. So we, if you remember from primary school, like you long division, some of you might have done long division, some of you might have, might not have. Basically, long division is the same as short division, except what we do is we write out our full working. So instead of putting our numbers up the top here and, and finding how many times 5 goes into 34 there on and then goes into 45 because it's the remainder, we do it the longhand way. So basically, 5 goes into 34 six times. So we write down our 30, because 5, 6 is a 30. Our remainder then was the 4. So 4 tens then. We treat it as 4 tens and then bring the 5 down. So 5 goes in the 45. Well, it goes in 9 times, and that's a 45. So there was no remainder there. We bring our 9 down. 5 goes in the 9 once. With a, so five, 9 minus 5 was a 4 remainder. And then 5 goes into 47, because we brought our 7 down. 5 goes into 47 9 times. So, and then that's 9 fives of 45, do our subtraction, and then bring our 8 down at the end. 5 goes in 28 five times, so we put our 5 up there, and 5 fives of 25 gives us what we call a remainder of 3. Now, we've got nothing else, we can get decimals if we want to, but we will write it as a fraction as well. So basically, 5 will go into 345,978. 69,195 times with a remainder of 3. So 3 left over. Or, if we want to write it in terms of a fraction, we could write it as 3 fifths. We can write it with decimals as well. So you put a decimal point and then put zeros in and keep going. So you get a, a three point zero, bring the zero down, 5 goes into 36 times, okay, and then we'd be in business with our writers 0.6. So we can even write it like this, like we can break it down. This is the division transformation. So 345,978 can be written as 5 times 69,195 plus 3. So that's what we call our division transformation. So that's with numbers, but how do we do it with a polynomial? And there's our breakdown of our division transformation there. So a couple of terms before we do that. Div dividend would be the number that we've we've divided. The divisor is the number that goes into it. The quotient is our answer. And then our remainder, obviously we've used before, is what's left over. Okay, so the, those n terms will come into play as we go through. So how do we do it by, with polynomials though? Because if we want to divide x cubed plus x squared minus 3x plus 4 by x minus 3, what do we need to do? Okay, so what we're looking at, we're setting up like we've done before. So set it up with our with our uh, divisor there, our uh, sorry our dividend there, our divisor there. So, and we're going to look and go. Well, basically, we want to x x is the largest has the largest degree here. How many times will it go into the largest the number with the largest degree we've got there? So x goes in x cubed, x squared times. So x times x cubed will be x squared times. So if we're going to multiply x by x squared to give us x cubed, we've got to multiply x squared by minus 3 to give us the x cubed minus, min, minus 3x squared. And then we're going to do our, our subtraction here. So the x cubed cancel. 2x squared minus minus 3x squared. So remember, we're subtracting minus 3x squared. It's going to give us a positive. So we've got to be really careful with that. So now we're going to see, well, x squared goes into 5x squared. How many times? Well, it goes in 5x times. We're going to bring our minus 3 down because we're going to get 5x times the minus 3 to give us minus 15 as well. So we're going to be subtracting our terms there. So we're eliminating the x squared term now. So 5x squared cancel. Minus 3 minus minus 15 would give us a positive 12. So again, we say x goes into 12x 12 times. So, and then 12 minus 12 times the uh, minus 3 gives us minus 36. We've brought, now, brought our 4 down. So the 12x is cancel, and 4 minus minus 36 gives us a remainder of 40. Now, x won't go into 40. We stop. That's as far as we go. We can't go any further there. So, thus we can write our dividend is equal to our divisor times our quotient plus our remainder. So we get all that from our polynomial division as we go through and do that there. So there's our process of polynomial division. So we, we are multiplying to 
see, eliminate the large and turn with the largest degree each time as we go through until the we get a remainder that's of a lesser degree than the divisor. So once we get to that point, we've got to stop because x won't go into 40 because it's, it's it's a lot 40 is a lower degree than x there. So have a look at that process. We're going to have a look in the next video of some more examples and see what's involved there.